All right. I'm Travis McGee, Chief Commercial Officer at Nadex, and welcome to the In the Know series. In today's video, which is part one of a two-part series, we're going to talk about current events and the impact that current events have on markets, as well as the current events that you need to be aware of. In the second part, we'll talk about how to trade using those current events, so make sure you join me for part two. So current events, uh, which is more or less kind of a broad term, and we're going to break it down into three different types can have a massive impact on your day-to-day -day trading, as well as a massive impact in the market in general. Now, type one is volatility, and I know this is a term uh, we've heard recently quite a bit, and probably something you've heard in your own trading uh, from time to time. Now, volatility is simply fear in the market. Um, you'd have uh, an index uh, called the VIX, which is more or less a fear gauge. Uh, which uh, is a barometer for how high uh, that fear is in the market at any given point in time. So when you look at something like COVID-19 and the pandemic, or go back to 2008, 2009 and financial crisis, those are volatile moments and it's volatility that we saw over an extended period of time. You could also look at something like April of 2020, uh, when oil actually went negative for the first time in history. So these are volatile uh, type events. Uh, these events typically happen for an extended period of time, and they're also uh, very erratic moves. Uh, you think back to March of 2020 with the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, we had days where the Dow Jones was up a thousand. We also had days where the Dow Jones was down a thousand. So very erratic moves over an extended period. Type two is something we call headline risk. Uh, and these are different types of events and often are hard events to prepare for uh, as they happen uh, due to some sort of announcement, so due to some sort of a geopolitical event that happens overnight. Uh, but more often than not, uh, there's something that can arise and certainly something that can take that trade from good to bad uh, very uh, quickly. So to give you an example of a headline risk, you could look at something like Brexit. Uh, you could look at something uh, like we have coming up in November, the U.S. election. Uh, you could look at something like an OPEC meeting uh, in the oil market uh, that perhaps happens overnight. They make an announcement and oil reacts as a result of that. So with these headline risk uh, type events, the moves are typically, the moves after are typically much shorter in nature than you may see with those volatility uh, driven events. And then finally, you have economic numbers or economic data uh, that comes out. And this comes in the form of a non-farm payroll number, jobless claims number, the unemployment rate, uh, GDP. Uh, these types of events are typically on a calendar. Uh, it's something that as a trader you need to be aware of, you need to look out for, and when you're planning your trade, uh, you need to understand when these announcements are coming out uh, because they can uh, move your trade uh, either to the, uh, in a positive direction or very easily uh, in a negative direction as well. So something there that you could actually prepare for. So when we talk about uh, how to trade these events, uh, join me in part two of the series as we'll break that down and break down the various ways you can trade, again, volatility, you can trade headline risk, as well as trade economic events. So let's go out there and let's get after it.